So around a year and a half ago on this channel, I reviewed this monitor right here, the Viotech F124D. It was a 24 inch 1440p 75 hertz gaming monitor. And for the price I spent of only $140, I really, really liked it. And in my video, I conveyed that sentiment to you guys, my viewers, and said that for the price I spent on this monitor, there was no other seller, no other manufacturer, and no other place on the market where you could buy a monitor with this many features for the same price. With the 2K resolution, I was able to edit my 4K videos at pretty close to their native resolution. And with the 75 Hertz display, I was able to game with my budget gaming PC. And this monitor and my PC paired really, really well. And the longer I own this monitor and when I did some more research about it, I actually found out even more reasons why this monitor was so insane for the price. I mean, it has a high contrast ratio, 1000 to one. It has almost full sRGB color gamut coverage, 300 nits of brightness, a high quality IPS panel, the list really went on. And I was perfectly content with this display because with the accurate color and the gaming aspect, I could use it for anything I wanted. Unfortunately, all the great stuff that I loved about this monitor kind of just vanished when I noticed a line of dead pixels vertically down the screen. It just popped up out of the blue and at first I thought maybe it was a graphics issue, but after changing PCs and display inputs, I came to the unfortunate realization that the insane budget monitor I loved, well, it really couldn't be fixed by me. I can't can't really do anything about dead pixels. After discovering the dead pixel problem on my monitor, I did what anybody does when there's an issue with a piece of tech or a product. I headed over to where I purchased it, Amazon, to see if there was any reviews that talked about the problem I was having. Unfortunately, the listing had been taken down from Amazon and the F124D had just been completely discontinued by Viotech. Now, I'm not completely sure if that's because of the dead pixel problem I was having or they just decided to discontinue it, but I can't really go back and check the reviews because the listing no longer exists. After figuring out that there was no way for me to find if anybody else had similar issues to me on Amazon, I hopped over to Viotech's website and decided to contact them directly about this problem. And after doing that, I actually noticed on the website that they did have a three year limited warranty on all of their products. And they do actually have a dead pixel policy when it comes to their displays. When Viotech finally got back to me, they kind of explained the whole three year warranty policy to me. And under the policy and according to the policy, I actually have to pay for the monitor to be shipped back to them. And I also have to pay for the labor and possibly the parts as well. Because the parts are gonna be expensive in my case because it's a dead pixel issue, I didn't really think that it was gonna be worth it to pay for the replacement of the monitor. Essentially, it was gonna be a whole replacement. They say repair, but you're pretty much taking out the display, which is the whole monitor itself, and that's gonna be quite pricey. At that point, I was just better off buying a whole new monitor, and that's what I've decided to do. Also, I would have to go without my main display for about a month or so while they repaired it. And I didn't really wanna to have to do that because I like having two displays. And this monitor is in no way unusable at this point. It's just very annoying and I don't really wanna live with a line of dead pixels down the screen. But until I get my new monitor, this one will do just fine for what I need it to do, which is video editing and some light gaming. Buying a new monitor is just the smarter move here in my opinion, and I kind of wanted a new higher refresh rate monitor anyway, so, you know, it kind of worked out. I'm still really, really bummed about the Viatech F124D though, because I just loved this monitor so much. Unfortunately, now I can't recommend it to you guys, and I really can't recommend Viatech itself because they sell a lot of similar displays to this one, not the same model, but I'm sure if this one had a problem with it, those might as well. Before I end this video, I do wanna say quickly that in no way am I bashing Viotech as a brand. They seem like a pretty good company and for the price point of this monitor, what they were able to pack in in terms of features was just so surprising to me. Honestly, if it wasn't for this dead pixel thing, I would still be recommending Viotech products to you guys. So there you have it everybody, my love-hate relationship with the Viotech F124D monitor. If this video helped you in your buying decisions at all, please consider subscribing down below. Also like the video and if you do have any further feedback for me, you can leave that in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to respond to you as quick as possible. 
Thank you all so much for watching. I have some more great PC content coming up very soon, possibly some more monitor content if I do decide to buy a new monitor, which I am planning to. So stay on the lookout for that. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one. I'm Nate from Hardwired Review and I'll see you later. Peace.